winter in Alberta, Canada is a beautiful sight to behold. Extreme cold temperatures make for dramatic white-capped mountains, trees bearing the weight of snowpacks, and smooth, frozen lakes. And one of those lakes stands out from the rest. From afar, it looks like any other frozen lake in the Canadian Rockies. With a foot of ice, you could probably drive a locomotive across this. You could certainly land a heavy plane, so this is pretty sturdy ice. No concerns. Jeff Cavanaugh is an associate professor of Earth and Atmospheric Sciences at the University of Alberta. He's joined us on this windy day to explain a fascinating occurrence that takes place during the winter at Abraham Lake. Beneath the clear surface, bubbles caught during the early winter freeze sit trapped, seemingly suspended in time. Right now we're sitting above some bubbles and these are made of methane. So you often get these stacked columns of bubbles. And that's uh, very common here at Abraham Lake and quite spectacular. These bubbles right here are about a foot down and they're that deep because the ice cap got that thick before the bubbles formed. These ones look a little deeper and if you look down through the surface you can see some that are maybe a foot and a half or two feet deep. So as thick as the ice gets, you'll find them. The chemistry of the ice here reveals more than just frozen bubbles. Another common feature that you see walking around the lake are these contraction cracks. So after the ice forms, it continues to cool and therefore it contracts. And so with that, stresses build to the point where the stresses are too great to be handled by the ice and it cracks. So here we have an intersection at 90 degrees. There are these other angles. But from these, we can tell that the ice is at least a foot thick because that's how far this kind of curtain-like feature appears. It's kind of cool. There's this twinned one right here and these funny intersections. I bet the wind's moving things around. Play the role in that. <laughs> 